Hello, and welcome to Control City Freak. This is the YouTube channel where we talk about interstate highways and the places that they are signed to go to. All right, today we are going to be talking about I-41, eh, Interstate 41. It's a newer one, I-41. Here we see it. It's kind of a weird shape. We see it goes about uh, less than a mile into Illinois. Mostly it's just in Wisconsin. So I've wondered about I-41. It's, it's kind of a violation of the interstate highway system in that it's multiplexed with US-41 throughout the whole time. Originally, interstates were not supposed to be in the same states as US highways with the same number, but they were approved by AASHTO, so I did read that Wisconsin tried to get the Illinois Department of Transportation to extend I-55 to the border and to make this road I-55. I feel like that's kind of a big ask. I do understand why Illinois said no there. The end of I-55 at Lakeshore Drive is one of the iconic interstate endings in the entire country. It's a great ending. Movies, TV, it's fantastic. Of course, they don't want to extend it you know, through uh, random towns in Wisconsin. But I feel like they should have asked for I-57. I-57, you run I-57 up the Tri-State Tollway up 294. Maybe you sign a 294-57. Maybe you just make a 57. Seems like a better fit. Seems like it would have been the better try. Anywho, we are talking about northbound I-51. And here is US-41 merging into I-94 and the announcement that 41 North Interstate, Milwaukee, is coming soon here. On the main line road, we also get this first overhead sign telling us we are now on 41 North, 94 West. Up until then, we had only been on 94 West, Milwaukee. Now we're on 41 North, 94 West, Milwaukee. And we see the three signs of Interstate 41 and US Highway 41, along with I-94. Strangely, we get no welcome to Wisconsin sign. The best they could do is a village of Pleasant Prairie. We get this helpful North 41, follow North 41. So since US 41 has been there for a long time, Interstate 41 is fairly new and it is the same route. Oh, hey, how about this? Thank you so much for your continued viewership. Please like, please subscribe. Really appreciate it. Here we are in Milwaukee, approaching the airport interchange. Uh, quite some gantries they have in Milwaukee here. And we see another 41 follow 41 there to the left. And if you go straight here, we're going to be on North 41, South 43, Bypass 894, Madison and Fond du Lac. Here's a fun concurrency. We have North 41 and South 43, along with West 894, all sharing the same pavements in a fun, wrong way concurrency. Not really sure why they kept 894 there. 41 has completely replaced 894, although I guess locals probably will call it 894 forever. Here we get the split with 41 and 43, 43 South for Beloit and 41, 894, US 45, and not seen on that sign, US 41, also joining in here. Here is the zoo interchange in Milwaukee. We are meeting I-94 from Madison and Milwaukee, and 41, 45 signed north for Fond du Lac, which I do believe is the correct choice. It's not that large of a city. It's not even the largest of the Lake Winnebago cities, but I think to differentiate itself from I-43 being signed for Green Bay, better to sign it for some city along the way, some city of some circumstance. And this continues when we split with US-45. Mileage sign, not too surprising. We see the next exit, then Fond du Lac, then Green Bay. So they bypass Appleton, which is actually a bigger city than Fond du Lac and go straight for Green Bay. And again, I think that makes sense. We, we, wanna, we wanna be signed somewhere outside of Milwaukee on 41 to get us outside of town. And then once we are outside of town, we should ultimately be signed north for Green Bay. And now we get 41 North Marinette and 43 is toward this way. Although honestly, 
I think this control city, we should just go with a control building on this one. It should be North 41 Lambeau Field. Because let's face it, uh, 10 days a year, that is where all the traffic on this road is going to be going. That's why this road is built with a local and express system. That's why it's kind of overbuilt for a place like Green Bay. Now we are approaching the exit for Lombardi Avenue. Guess what's on Lombardi Avenue? I do think the brick walls are kind of cool. They're kind of uh, reflecting, you know, kind of doing the Lambeau Field style. And if you squint looking to the right, you can see Lambeau Field from I-41's pavement. And now we see a North 41, North I-41 continuing here at the interchange with I-43, I-43 for Milwaukee. I really don't know why they have North Interstate 41 signed here instead of North US 41 signed here. Because here, as we see, as soon as we are past the I-43 interchange, I-41 ends and we are just on US 41. Let's take a look at southbound I-41. I-41 begins with this intersection with I-43. Appleton. So Appleton, like I said, of the Lake Winnebago cities, it's the largest one, so it makes sense to sign it here instead of signing Fond du Lac. And we're going with the same thing. Uh, let's sign 41 to get out of town in Green Bay. And then once you're out of town, sign up for Milwaukee. Let's see if that's what they do. Now this is the bridge at Vince Lombardi Boulevard, so kind of cool Green Bay Packer bridge situation here. Here in South Appleton, 41 again is just doing the through traffic kind of thing, 41 South. But on US 10, we see 41 is signed for Milwaukee South and Green Bay North. So this is sensible signage. And a little further down the road before you get to Oshkosh, we do get an overhead sign for South 41 Milwaukee. A lot going on in this sign. We're getting 41, 45, 100, 894 bypass, and also 41 not listed. Here we are at the Zoo Interchange once again. So we see 41, 894, Bypass Chicago, 94, Madison, Milwaukee. This I found really interesting, this sign. So we've got I-41, I-43, 894, East Chicago. None of those roads go to Chicago. We have seen lots of signs before on this channel. I-15 in Nevada or I-40 in Arizona that are signed for places that the interstates themselves don't actually go to. But I don't think I've seen one where it's three interstates don't actually go to the place that is signed. Yet, this is the correct choice. Chicago is absolutely the correct choice in this one. Here's where we are merging back with I-94. And we have, again, a nice pull through of 4194 South Chicago. Now we are in Illinois. They do give us a welcome to Illinois sign. And for whatever reason, 41 and 94 are concurrent from that interchange in South Milwaukee to the Illinois border and just a little bit beyond. And then 41 just ends. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why they make 41 concurrent and don't just start 41, say, at the zoo interchange. Here is the end of I-41 in Illinois. Illinois is kind enough to give us an end sign. And right beyond the end, we have US-41 South Waukegan, 94 South for East, rather, for Chicago and Indiana, giving the 294 control city of Indiana there. See, if we ran 57 down here, like I suggested in the beginning, this sign at the border of Wisconsin and Illinois could say 9457 Chicago Memphis. How awesome would that be? Right at the Wisconsin border to have Memphis signed. And here we go, Todd's the way it should be for Interstate 41. On 41 North, I think they nailed it, actually. I think they did this perfectly. Not the biggest fan of 41's number or its routing, but its control cities are impeccable. Milwaukee, Fond du Lac, and Green Bay. And South, Appleton, Milwaukee, Chicago. Uh, perfectly done, which is exactly the way they do it. Thank you for watching Control City Freak. I really appreciate it. My name is Todd, and please like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot. You're awesome. And keep on trucking.